Hi everybody, Fran Cassidy with Cassidy Online LLC. Um, for those of you who do not know me, I retired from Quest Corporation in 08. And I went to work volunteering for a couple of years and then started Cassidy Online LLC in 2014, uh, primarily in the home-based business niche and also in the health and wellness niche. Um, today, I would like to talk about PageRank and SEO and then uh, talk about a few very important sites uh, with the accompanying tools um, that you can use for uh, determining uh, popular and relevant keywords. Uh, so with that introduction, uh, let's get right into the presentation. Here we are, page rank versus SEO. What is the difference? Um, I may change that title once I go to YouTube uh, for keywords. But let's talk about that. We know that SEO is a semi-free way uh, to get traffic and leads. Uh, basically, uh, what the small online business owner is looking for is a low risk, low cost, steady stream of visitors. Uh, Semi free in that SEO takes uh, considerable and consistent work to get a steady stream of visitors. Uh, hence, as SEO marketers know, um, SEO is not really free. Your uh, time is very valuable. Uh, the social media, like IBO Toolbox, is important for SEO from a technical perspective because you can add a do follow link in your pages social profile. I put a link here if you're interested for um, buffer.com. Go into their library and from there you can go into free uh, SEO tools. Before you ever add an advert post to your IBO toolbox page, uh, you'll add value and an important link to your website. Social media sites like IBO Toolbox are highly ranked in Alexa. And this was a while back, but um, I've got uh, 17K uh, US and uh, 60K worldwide. Uh, recall page rank is a number from 0 to 10 assigned by Google indicating how to rank your site in the search engine results page. Um, you can see the difference or the significance from getting a do follow link from a high page rank site. Um, here I've got a list of the 9 and 10s on this particular uh, URL. Um, that may be of interest to you. Um, I won't give it to you now though, but we'll uh, continue on. You can uh, Google uh, page rank 9 and 10s uh, in the world uh, if you wish. Uh, page rank is fundamental to SEO and is a 
an algorithm used by Google Search to rank websites in their search engine results. PageRank was named after Larry Page, one of the founders of Google, Google who engineered the PageRank algorithm. And uh, Larry Page, I believe, was a PhD mathematician from Stanford, if I remember correctly. So the more high page rank do follow backlinks that link to your site, the higher your page rank can be. Notice I said can be because there's other significant uh, criteria added to that um, specific algorithm. Uh, PageRank is also used for Alexa ranking. This really offers the popularity of the website. Also, it helps your article from your site uh, place in SERP or the search engine results page for specific keywords. Do follow link, links, add HTML coding uh, called uh, markup to allow search engines to follow the destination inside the link. The do follow link coming from IBO Toolbox profile, my IBO Toolbox uh, profile page to my blog has huge value for Frasides.com, my blog. When you install a URL to your website, you're also setting a Google do follow backlink to your site. If I post a link from Frasides.com from an article on Frasides.com of this name, it will be from Frasties.com slash uh, the name of my article here, page rank versus SEO. What's the difference? You see the importance of customizing your profile page. I'm talking about IBO Toolbox now. And other sites, obviously other sites um, where you can add um, uh, uh, URLs which are um, do follow backlinks. Go to links and install your website's links, YouTube link, other profile links, and other social media links. Remember you want and need high page rank links coming to your sites. As far as page rank is concerned, there is absolutely nothing of more value. Be sure to include your story tagline introduction and it's important to include one or two of your target SEO keyword phrases in your description. Now I'm talking about um, doing a profile in social media platforms. Use your blog to increase your SEO page rank and subsequent SERP as an increase in page rank will precede an increase in SERP. Uh, the opposite is also true. An increase in SERP can uh, increase uh, your page rank. The difference between page rank and SERP is that you can get a blog post to page one SERP with the proper keyword terms and their implementation and important niche connected backlinks. A better way to differentiate the two is that page rank is more permanent, whereas SERP position for a blog post is more temporary. PageRank will take uh, consistency, time, and continued um, escalation of traffic. Your traffic 
uh, continues to climb. Uh, doesn't mean that you're going to have a lull in the traffic, but basically, um, if you graph it out, you'll have a continual climb. Social media, like IBO Toolbox, Facebook, and other social media sites will help with escalating page rank, as well as SERP. Okay, that brings me to some important sites that I need to tell you about uh, for SEO. Um, the first one being keywordtool.io. Um, so the URL is https colon slash slash uh, keywordtool.io. Um, and the interesting piece about this tool, let's go ahead and bring this one up. Here it is here. Um, you've got access to all the major platforms here. Uh, Google, YouTube, which so many uh, marketers are using now, YouTube. And so you have to make sure that you get your keywords correct in YouTube uh, at the appropriate place where you put uh, your keywords at the bottom of the first page when you download or when I'm sorry when you upload a YouTube when you, uh, a video to YouTube uh, you go down to the bottom of the page and install um, uh, pertinent uh, keywords so it's got Google, uh, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, uh, eBay, Play Store, Instagram, and Twitter. So you've got all of the majors here. And you've got Google and YouTube to start that out. Um, so if I enter a keyword, I've got home business. Let's do home-based business and enter the, and then I'm in the US uh, no, notice there is a pull down here where you can go to virtually any country do a search and it will bring up all the significant um, keywords uh, starting with that general keyword home based business and notice, um, this is very interesting because the search volume is very high at 7,700 uh, per month. Uh, the trend is plus 176%. So you can see how uh, that niche, which many of us are actually in, um, is um, continuing to um, increase. Uh, the cost per click is interesting at $1.54. Um, I think that actually has come down in price. Um, I've seen that as high as $5. Um, so that may be a more uh, average uh, cost per click. Uh, when you take in Bing and Amazon and other sites besides Google. Uh, competition is uh, average or medium. So that is a good thing too. So right there, that keyword is looking very impressive. Um, so I think you can see the importance of that site. Uh, and you can go to by add, adding the suffix here, YouTube, you can get to any one of the categories uh, that I mentioned. Um, you can do a comparison of keywords at Google Trends. Google Trends. And uh, don't forget that. That is one of the most significant S. EO sites uh, that there is now online. 
and you can get there um, the URL uh, via the preface and then trends.google.com or simply Google Google Trends. Okay, but let's uh, go into uh, Google Trends here. I've got one up. I've got one up. I've got the United States and I can add a search term here. Uh, so let's go back to the um, home based business or back to the keyword tool IO and grab home based business keyword and add that in. Add that one in. And if we go below, you can see the activity on that. And that is starting at March 10 through the 16th, uh, 2019. So it's given us a year of activity. And the year is pretty steady. Gone down a bit here, but if you follow, you can see it's pretty steady. And um, these trend numbers are significant because the trend numbers are um, from the Google algorithm, let's say. And so they are very significant from an SEO perspective. And so 79 here on July 7th through the 13th does not mean uh, 79 um, searches. Um, it's 79 um, within the Google Trends algorithm. But let's go back to our keyword tool and find another one. Uh, let's do a home-based business for women. I missed that one. Try that again. Home-based business for women. Copy that. And let's go back in there. Now, if you click the plus for compare, I can add that one in. If I do an enter, watch what happens. This is very cool. You'll map, up, map that out. And I'm in the United States now. And I can go to virtually any country in this pull down. But I'll stay in the US. And you can see that it is not as significant a keyword, which makes sense because that home based business is a more general keyword. But keep in mind that you can do these for any niche at all, in any niche, for the keywords in, in any niche, I should, should say. Let's take another, Home Based Business Ideas 2020, and go back in there and compare that one. Okay, so now, if I do a comparison, I paste that one in and enter that. It'll bring up a yellow circle. So I've got a blue, a red, and a yellow circle. And that is kind of a flat line here, which really surprises me. Kind of a, a relative flat line. But you can see the important piece here is that you take uh, important, um, relevant keywords for the niche, you can compare them in Google Trends. And Google Trends is kind of the mastermind uh, as to what people are typing into their browser for uh, Google search. So you can see the importance of Google Trends. 
Google Trends is uh, very, very important now for SEO. You have to have Google Trends just as you have to have um, the keyword planner for um, Google Ads. Um, and you get in there by, uh, here's the URL, but if you go to ads.google.com, you should be able to find your way in. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, sign in. I signed in already, and then you go to this um, tools and settings uh, wrench and click that and go to uh, planning and then you go to keyword planner keyword planner and then at keyword planner uh, I've got a couple of squares up here at the top it says discover new keywords you click that arrow and that will bring you into discover new keywords and with that there is a line um, a line with a, um, a scope at the beginning of a line microscope at the beginning of a line uh, click it um, uh, enter your keywords so it'll be home based business enter that and then go to the bottom of the page and click get results and that will bring up a page of all the important uh, keywords under that category and most importantly give you the average monthly searches uh, the competition um, the um, uh, bid uh, the bid range, I should say, the bid range. So the first one, the range would be a dot six five to a um, dollar uh, sixty eight, um, and that's got medium competition, which very much surprises me. So anyway, um, put that one down. But I just wanted to uh, remind you. Uh, go to ads.google.com. You have to sign in and um, go to discover new keywords. Um, then go to uh, tools and settings and then uh, pull that down. And under planning, click keyword planner. And then on that microscope line, type your keyword and then click get results. I hope that um, makes uh, good sense to you. So that would pretty much do it for this presentation um, emphasizing the significance of uh, the Keyword Planner and the Keyword uh, Tool I.O. Um, and then going into Google Trends uh, to make sure that you are putting keywords in that are very, very popular with searchers uh, it, within Google. Uh, the other, one, one other thing, uh, footnote here, is um, I installed a WordPress plugin. It was called WordFence. It was a free plugin. And I've gotten some good results with that on my blog. Uh, you can do a scan and it will find, so far it's found um, a few, um, some malware on there. And you can uh, delete that malware. It's found some um, uh, defective URLs that carry um, malware. And you can... Uh, um, Delete that, and I, so I just wanted to point that out. It's called Word Fence. It is a WordPress plugin 
for security, a free plugin. So with that, uh, it has been my observation that most people get ahead during the time that others waste. <laughs> that was from my Henry Ford, so you know he was uh, out hustling quite a bit. Okay, so with that, uh, Fran Cassidy with Cassidy Online LLC. Have a great day.